welcome back to Wild Man Recordings. I'm Bill. Today I thought I would do something a little different. Uh, I'm actually playing a real bass today. This is my bass I play shows with. It's a Gretsch short scale four string. I Today I'm going to show you four songs. Four songs. Each song has a different combination of notes so that you can learn all the notes if you're new to bass. And this is basically like a basic introduction to bass. If I was going to teach somebody how to play bass guitar, this would be the way that I would show them so they can have the notes. And then you can go from there uh, as long as you want <laughs> and play for 100 years and never learn it all. So but this is just the beginning. This is the basics. First song we're going to start with is a Marshall Tucker band song called... Uh, can't you see and it is D C and G they're the most common notes uh, definitely the ones you want to learn first are easiest to play and there's probably I don't know thousands of songs that has some combination of G C and D maybe a fourth note uh, but that's what we're going to look at first Marshall Tucker band can't you see okay, now before we get going on this because this is a basic introduction I'm also going to go over the main strings. So your first string, top string, is E. The second string down is A. Third string down, D. Fourth string, G. Okay. So, to play this song, the easiest way to play this song is on the A string, fifth fret, is D. Okay, your next note is A string third fret, which is C. And then third fret E string, which is G. Okay? So this song plays like this. Nobody gonna know Can't you see Oh, can't you see What that woman low Been doing to me Can't you see Oh, can't you see What that woman low Been doing to me find me a hole in the wall gonna crawl inside and die little late now mean old woman low never told me goodbye can't you see oh can't you see what that woman low been doing to me can't you see oh can't you see what that woman been doing to me Oh, can't you see what that woman 
been doing to me? Can't you see? Oh, can't you see? What that woman long been doing to me? I know that is very monotonous around in a circle, around in a circle, around in a circle, but that's how you learn to play these musical instruments. And once you do that enough, your muscle memory will build up and you don't even have to look at it no more. It'll just go automatically to the right notes. So, But it takes a little while. It takes at least, I'd say, a few months of playing over and over and over and over the same song, same song, same song to get that muscle memory built up enough. And then you don't have to think about it so much. You can do the singing or whatever you do, but leads in. Now, that was D, C, and G. The next song we're going to play is Better Than Ezra Good. It's G, C, and D, and E minor. Now, on bass, you don't play minors and majors. You just play whatever the note is. So, it would be G, C, D, and E. So, we're going to add E in. This will give you four notes you can play, and then the other two songs will finish up the rest of the notes. So, this one plays like this. Starts in G. So you got G, D, E minor, C. Sitting around the house, looking behind the window and the door. Searching for signs of life, but there's nobody home. Maybe I'm just too sure. Maybe I'm just too frightened by the sound of it. Pieces of no fall down, but the letter said, Uh huh, it was good living with you. Uh huh. signs of life but there's nobody there maybe I'll call or write you a letter maybe we'll see at the 4th of July but I'm not too sure and I'm not too proud I'm not too sure and I'm not too proud to say uh -huh, it was good it was good living with you. Uh -huh. It was good. Wow, wow, wow. Uh -huh. It was good. Good, 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 good. thing we're going to talk about real quick most songs not all but most songs start in a note they also end in that note but not always sometimes they end in different notes <clears throat> but usually if it starts in G it ends in G if it starts in E it ends in E if it starts in A it ends in A so whenever you're playing these songs and you're trying to figure out where to end them 
you probably want to end them on the same note you started with, unless it just for some reason does not sound right. And then you might want to end it on the note before or the note, a different note, depending on how it plays. So the next song we're going to learn is by Chris Stapleton. <clears throat> it is Tennessee Whiskey, and the only reason that we're learning this one is because it has A and B. And B is a hard note on guitar, bass it's not so hard because it's just, just like any other note, it's just one fret, one string. So, but we're going to learn this Chris Stapleton song next, so you can learn A and B. Now A, I play it open a lot, but open, the second string down is A. That's A. Also A on the E string is right here. Uh, second dot is also A. See, they sound the same. Same note. Same. And it should sound the same or your tuning's off. So anyway, we're going to play this. Now, it has an intro part, and it is E-G-A-A -A on bass. That's how it plays. E-G-A-A, A-A, A-B. That's Chris Stapleton, Tennessee Whiskey, B and A. The only two notes in it. That's a good song to learn those notes, practice those notes, especially on bass. Like I say, bass is easy, man. So second fret, second string, the A string is B. B is also here, which is one, two, three, four dots on the E string is also B. There's other places to play B, but those are the easiest ones. 
Uh, rule of thumb, I'll just go ahead and give you a rule of thumb. Any notes you play on the neck, if you go two string, two frets down, two strings down, same note. So here's G. Go two frets down, two strings down. Also G, higher octave, but also G. And you can do that anywhere. Start G there, you can go over, but of course on bass you run out of strings. So it's a little tricky when you get down to run out of strings. Okay, the last song we're going to show you is so you can see how to play F. And it is Rolling Stone's song called You Can't Always Get What You Want. And it's easy to play. Starts in C. This is F on the E string. First fret on the E string is F. Okay, this is C. Third fret on the A string. So you've got, it plays like this. I saw her today at the reception Glass of wine in her hand I knew she was gonna meet her connection In her glass was a bloodstained hand You can't always get what you want you can't always get what you want You can't always get what you want G But if you try sometime F You might find You get what you need Oh baby Get what you need To get my fair share of abuse Always gonna be my frustration If a dog gonna blow 58 views You can't always get what you want You can't always get what you want you can't always get what you want But if you try sometimes You might find You get what you need Oh baby You get what you need Baby Now I'm going to show you something cool So Down just a drugstore Stand in line with Mr. Jimmy Man, did it look mighty ill Decided we would get a soda My favorite flavor, cherry red Say one word to Mr. Jimmy playing F on the E string up here. But you can also, like I told you, down two frets, down two strings is also F. So you can actually play that whole song right in this fret. C, F, G. The whole song. Don't have to move your fingers. That's why when you watch really good bass players, they don't move their hand. I like to move my hand, but they tell me not to do it, but I like it. That's what I play. So, but yeah, you don't have to move your hand a lot of times. A lot of times it'll set right here, and you play different strings, and you hit all the notes you need. Especially in bass, because it's not as not as much going on as guitar. 
Now, the last thing we're going to talk about is this is the most basic I can show you on base. Now, there's a lot that you can do advanced. Now, I'm just going to show you a couple advanced moves. Also, show you where you can get to if you put the time in. I've been playing for about 12 years. So, if you play for a while, and the younger you are, the faster you'll pick it up. So, this is a Fleetwood Mac song uh, called Rhiannon. And I'm just going to play the bass. I'm not singing or anything. bass on Rhiannon. It's fun. Fun to play this stuff. Now, <clears throat> this is another full lead on a song that I'm learning. Uh, it's by the Animals and it's called We Gotta Get Out of This Place. That's just some stuff that you can do later when you figure out all these notes. I'll show you another one real quick. I mean, we're about to 25 minutes, but we'll show you another one. Now, this is uh, Eric Clapton. them extra notes there now that isn't that isn't basic stuff that's and I can play and sing this one but I played it a million times that's why so anyway this was a basic bass tutorial uh, might put some new one might put some better ones up different ones up later I just really thought that this might help somebody who's wanting to learn how to play bass doesn't want to pay for lessons uh, Wants somebody cut right to the chase and show them the notes I tried to make it as simple as possible uh, without getting into anything advanced too much uh, but that's all the notes on the neck you can play any song with those notes I didn't go over flats and sharps um, maybe I'll do that in a different lesson but that is the most basic bass notes get you started playing in an hour, playing in 25 minutes, uh, and you're playing songs. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.